Edith Windsor is one of Time's 2013 People of the Year. This summer, the Supreme Court struck down the Federal Defense of Marriage Act, which had defined marriage as between one man and one woman. Edith Windsor was the plaintiff in that case. It started with a lawsuit that she filed. She had sued the IRS for back taxes that she had to pay when her spouse died because it was a same-sex marriage and therefore not valid. So when the Supreme Court made their decision, E1, she got her refund and changed the way the federal government looks at marriage. When the decision came down, she became a hero in the gay rights movement and really in the country as a whole. Certainly her victory inspired a lot of people. She had been married to her spouse, Thea, for only a couple of years, but they had been together since 1965. We ourselves have come out in ever-increasing numbers, and we see each other and love each other. So when Edie won her case, besides the sort of obvious impact of overturning a federal ban on gay marriage, the decision actually had a lot of far-reaching implications for people's lives that they were able to experience immediately. Things like estate taxes to survivors' veterans' benefits, to whether or not your spouse can get a green card. The court decision gave gay people a lot of dignity, and even for people who are not gay, establishing that human right and human dignity was a huge win for all of us and really made our country a stronger, better place. Edward Snowden made Time's short I'm Bobby Ghosh, editor of, of Time International. Bashar al-Assad, the late dictator spring, of Syria, summer, was one of the most influential people in the Alan world Hamilton, in 2014, the National and that's why he's on the short list for Time magazine's president of the year. Saying he wanted to give 2013 is the year in which the civil war in Syria turned almost 